this video is for making title block version 3. You will open up your old title block, redesign it based on these measurements you see here. The height of the drawing is going to be 7.5. The width is now going to be 10. We need more space for our next set of drawings. Each of these title block sections are labeled here. And the height of the title block is 0.5. So our border width is 10, the border width is 7.5 tall, and our title block height is 0.5, and those are our measurements. You could pause the video here and draw the title block. When you come back, I'm going to teach you how to do the text like you see here. Let me delete these and demonstrate how to draw text to center inside your boxes. The command you're going to use is called multi-line text. Pick that with your mouse. With your cursor, draw a rectangle picking opposite corners of one of the boxes. That tells the computer where you're going to be typing in words. But to get it to the middle center, go to justification. Pick middle center. Check your height. Make sure it's .125. And then start typing in the date. Whoops. Everything needs to be in capital letters and then hit the close text editor. Let's repeat that for the school. Multi-line text. Draw a rectangle from one side to the other. Justification, middle center. The height is correct. If not, find your height or type it in. It's .125. Type in your school name. Cl click on close text editor. Repeat that for all the words. You can pause the video to do that. Now, dealing with fractions and dates. Let's double click this text and change the date to today uh, to a date. Sometimes when you type in a date, you're going to get a text message pop up on your screen. I won't see it on mine, but I'm going to show you what to do if that happens to you. You're going to get a message that might activate what you see here. Let me get this going. It might turn your font, your text into this. If this happens to you, I recommend that you right click on highlight, right click it, and click on unstack to remove that hap from happening. It thinks it's a number and doesn't know it's a date. So what happens is it stacks it, so you can right click and unstack it with this option. Okay. New layer. We're making a new layer. It's called Viewport. The color is going to look like an orange. It's color number 30. Other changes. Make sure your names are all capital for all layer names. And new colors. Dimensions is going to be white now. It's going to be white. And new thicknesses. For example, title block is going to be 1.2 text is going to be 0.25 and review this for other changes you need to make. Remember never make this layer called death points. This is, belongs to AutoCAD. Ignore it. Make sure all your printer icons are activated. If you accidentally click on them, you'll do this which means it will not print. So deactivate those. Pause the video to verify your name spellings, what you see here, your colors, your line types. Also, we're going to be leaving title blocks, taking them away from the model tab and moving to, to a what's called layout one tab, which is right here. We're going to start using this tab. So we're going to discover now that you draw in the model tab and you print in the layout tab. So we're going to move our title block here. This is how you do it. You're going to select everything. You're going to right click, look for clipboard, and copy with base point. Your base point will be the lower left corner of your title block. Switch to layout one. You will see an image of a piece of paper here. You will see a viewport of what your drawing has inside, and you'll see a lot of gray. We're going to make some changes here. The first, we're going to put our title block inside. Right click, clipboard, pick paste. 
It really doesn't matter where you put it, so kind of make it fit in this piece of paper. Now we got a copy of it here and a copy of it here. We'll go back to layout one. We're going to get rid of the gray section and this piece of paper right here. Right click on options. In this section here, deactivate display printable area, deactivate display paper background. Click apply and OK. And now we have a white background. This black rectangle is called a viewport. It's a window into what's inside here. The color of it is based on what layer was current when you switched to this tab. Let's right click on the layout one name and rename it to paper space so we know what it is. So, so go back to model tab and erase your title block because now it's over here. This viewport to get into it, you type in a command called ms enter and you can now zoom in and out and see what's what you have in here. You could also type in PS to get out of the viewport. You could also double click inside the viewport or double click outside the viewport. All right, this viewport should be on the, the new layer we created called viewport, so move it to that and then we'll talk about adjusting this in a later video, making the size of this larger or smaller for whatever we need. That's the end of this lesson.